about a GPT, which is getting quite popular on the internet. What is it? What is it capable of? How to get access to it? And at last, is it really deserve this hype? So let's find out. So this is an autonomous AI model that deploy agents to fulfill the task and it will automatically keep on generating prompts itself until it achieves the final goal. And talking about its capabilities, this model has long-term memory, it can learn and improve itself, it has internet access so it can interact with websites, and this is an open source model. Yes, this is an open source model that you can even install on your local computer, but it's a bit complicated process and you can face errors like me. But don't worry, I'll show you an easy way to access it. Simply go to this website called agentgpt.rework.ai. I will also provide this link in the description. So basically this is a web version of AutoGPT named as AgentGPT. As you can see, the interface is very simple and straightforward. Now, to use it properly, you have to add your OpenAI API key. If you don't know how to get it, just go to this link. I will also provide this link in description. Now create a new secret key just copy it, then open your settings in the agent GPT and paste it here. Obviously, I'm going to delete this key by the end of this video. Now you are ready to go. Just name your agent, give it a task and set the final goal and then hit deploy. Now it will automatically generate some tasks and start executing them. And it will keep on doing that until it achieves the final goal. Another example, if I ask it to provide any code, it will generate that code and will automatically try to find bugs in its own code and will fix that code. Impressive, right? To save this, you have the option to copy all of this data or you can download the PNG file. As you can see, it has recorded all of the steps that he performed. And this is a huge image. Now, not everything is perfect here. Along with goods, it also has some bads. And the number one issue that I have faced we have no control over it. Like in ChatGPT, we have more control on our commands and results. Like if we don't like anything, we can ask it to reperform that task. But in this case, we don't have any control over it. It just keeps on creating the task, keeps on executing them, and in some cases, it can take hours to complete that task. And most of the time, it just keeps on going, keeps on going, without providing the final result. And the second problem is organization of data. It performs the task in so many parts and it's not easy for a normal person to gather all that information one by one. But in case of ChatGPT, the data is in more organized form and it's user friendly. For example, if I ask ChatGPT to write a blog post, it will provide me the data with headings and key points. And it's almost ready to use. But this thing doesn't work in case of AutoGPT. Well, I'm not saying that this is a bad AI model. In fact, this is the future of AI. But right now, this is not that perfect for a normal person. Like if you're a person like me who just want to perform simple day-to-day -day tasks with more control, ChatGPT is a still powerful option. But it's fun to play around with these type of AI models. So that's it from this video. If you like this type of AI content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.